This is Mike Cohn from Advanced Tubular Technologies. This is a demonstration of VTube Step working with TubeCAD Pro in order to extract centerline data from a solid model and create a tube layout. First we load VTube Step and import an IGES file. We load the collect control and start collecting the surface entities. We start with the first straight, move to the next straight, until we come to the end. VTube step also understands how to calculate the wall thickness if you select an inner wall surface, which is what we're doing here. We've completed the collection process, so now we load the calc window and indicate to VTube Step that it needs to calculate the tube center line. Because this tube shape has holes that are drilled through the surface of the tube, the tessellation or triangulation on the surface of the tube will require more calculation by VTube Step. So the math engine count will loop higher than is normal for a clean model. We can see the math engine looping here. So this model will take just a little bit longer than it normally takes, but the good news is it will work, even though we have geometry like holes drilled through this part. The calculation will require about another 10 seconds to complete. And now the calculation is complete and a parametric model is displayed and drawn on top of the static model that was imported. We'll see that the radius values have slight rounding errors and I know that they're supposed to be a nominal 2 so I just change them to 2. And I'm going to delete the model, the static model, and then regenerate to show you that we do have a parametric model now on the screen. Next we're going to press the vendor output menu and save a supervision file to the disk. Now we'll load TubeCAD Pro and import the supervision file that we just saved from VTube Step. Now I'm going to push Auto Arrange and I have just arranged the tube layout. We're going to change the tube diameter. You can see that there was a slight rounding error in the tube diameter. It was 25.401. We're going to change it to 25.4 and set all of the diameters to the same value. And our tube layout is now complete, ready for plotting. You can see we have primary views over here, three primary views, orthographic views. You can see the purple or magenta block up labels. And over on the right, we have true bend views with true bend labels. And here are some other true view uh, views of the part. And then over on the right, we have rotation views and we have rotation clocks. And on the far right, we also have um, what are called. Um, tube charts with all the tube data. This can be changed and modified. You can put a lot of data uh, in these charts. And this is how you would plot if you wanted to plot preview. I don't have a full-size plotter attached to this computer, but you would attach your plotter here and scale the layout if necessary and then output the uh, layout to a full-scale plot from this uh, preview window. The time required to come to a full-scale layout on the screen in TubeCAD Pro was three and a half minutes. 
And finally, we save our projects by saving both VTube step project files and TubeCAD files.